and welcome back to Greater Ohio's video blog. Um, today we wanted to take the opportunity to respond to some of the comments we have received on our blog, one of which being about downtown areas and getting the right businesses and right retail and food stores in the downtown area. How do you do this? In Mount Vernon, they have three coffee shops down there. They don't need more. They need the right food, retail, clothing stores down there. And so one comment made um, from Tyler was, can you seek out local businesses already established in these areas and entice them into the downtown area? So Gene, what do you think about this idea? I mean, is it feasible to think you can entice businesses like that, or is that too much? I think you need to think about this not as looking for a silver bullet, but looking for silver buckshot. Okay. There's a whole variety and ranges of things I think you may want to think about doing. One, bring this up to your mayor. Brings up your city council. Have you, you know, what act, you know, have you done a retail analysis okay. of your community? Okay. Uh, once you've done that, and the way that the way to think about it is this: it's it's your play. You want to play to your strengths. Yeah. And um, to give you a, I've not used a sports analogy in a single blog, but <laughs> now is the time. Um, at a typical high school. If if they're if they're if the young people coming out for their basketball team are tend to be tall, they adopt a certain type of, of, of offense. Yeah. But if they tend to be shorter in stature but very, very fast, they'll do a lot of running guns, a constant rotation in. And I've seen that used both models used very successfully. But the question is, what are your strengths? Yep. So one of the things, and this goes back to the Restoring Prosperity Summit, your anchor institutions. Yeah. What do you have in the way of anchor institutions? What do you have there? Do an analysis of what are your strengths. Yeah, like their brick roads downtown. Their brick streets downtown. You know, uh, I, and I will flat out tell you, I've been amazed at sometimes the number of coffee shops I've seen in these communities. But yeah, you have three. Obviously, the demand is there at this point in time yeah. for those three. So the question is, and what else are they doing to attract? So look at it from an anchor, anchor institution standpoint. You have a courthouse, mm -hmm. okay? So anchored institutions would be things like your hospitals, universities, museums. You could probably even say natural resources too. Yes, okay. yeah. Uh, one of the key things, Ohio is blessed with a huge amount of a fancy term, riparian corridors, streams, creeks, yeah. rivers. And uh, most county seats are located on water of some sort, yeah. on a river, a stream, a creek, or something. Successful communities, for example, embrace their water. They look at it, they enjoy it. If, for example, one of our core communities, Marietta. Yeah. Marietta has purposely chosen not to put up a flood wall. And you know what? It has led to a greater quality of life. Yes, they have flooding, okay? But what they do is they embrace the river. You can see the river. You walk down to the river. The river is the focus. And you look at other communities that have embraced their, their water, their yeah. harbor. You know, and that's why as I look around Ohio for in, in, our, in, our, in our 32 core communities we're looking at at this point in time, yeah. so many of them have such wonderful, water-based assets. Yeah. Sandusky, Ashtabula come to mind real quick, yeah. Marietta. You know, they all have this embrace the water, utilize that. That is an anchor. Gotcha. Okay, what are your strengths? But it's a silver buckshot. Yeah. Do not walk in and say, we could get this one thing done, our future is assured. Okay, so you need to look out the right type of businesses to try and entice them into your downtown area and how they can work on emphasizing the assets you already have down there. Right, and one of the key people I'd urge you to work with is your county commissioners. Huh. Now, here's the reason why. Typically, for a typical county in Ohio, 40% of their revenue comes from sales taxes. Yep. So, who has an invested interest? County commissioners. County commissioners. So if you're talking about increasing retail, ask them, have you done a retail analysis of the county? Have you ever thought about that? Oh, and they're like, well, why do we care? It's in the city. Yes, but 
40% of your income historically comes from sales tax revenue. And one of the things you'll find is that well, Great Ohio earlier did the study about sales tax disparities. Yes. Many, many counties are seeing their sales tax revenue bleed across the county line, that they're not getting all of their sales tax revenue that they should be getting on a huh. per capita basis adjusted for income. And you know, to see the most clear taste of this, you know, when Polaris Mall opened. Delaware County's per capita sales tax doubled. Interesting. And Franklin's decline. You only have so many credit cards, so much closet space. Yeah. So in other words, what are your do an analysis? What are your anchors? You know, you can take a look at this. Interesting. Well, I hope that answered your question. And again, I encourage you to leave comments on our on our blog so we can we can feed the discussion. So thank you and have a good weekend.